Hello and welcome to Pediatric Doctor at Home, your go-to channel for quick and practical health tips for parents and caregivers. If you are a parent, a grandparent, or anyone who cares for kids, today's topic is a must-know, febrile seizures. Have you ever seen a child with a fever suddenly convulse? It can be terrifying, but in this video, you will learn about tips to help you stay calm, take control, and know exactly what to do in that moment. First, let's break it down. The word febrile means fever. So febrile seizures are seizures triggered by a fever. A body temperature of 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 Fahrenheit and above is considered a fever and the most accurate measurement of the body's internal temperature is the rectal temperature. During a seizure, there is an abnormal electrical activity in the brain causing a sudden change in behavior or uncontrolled body movements called convulsions. Now, if you are wondering what that looks like, imagine a child suddenly becoming unresponsive, having jerking movements, stiffening up, or even rolling their eyes. The good news is febrile seizures are usually short and harmless. They last for a minute or two and stop on their own. The child may be sleepy or seem confused after the episode. Febrile seizures mostly happen in kids between 6 months and 5 years old. So if you've got little ones in that age range, listen up. Most often, febrile seizures are triggered by viral infections like the common flu. Sometimes bacterial infections like an ear infection can do it too. And yes, after some vaccines, kids can develop a fever and have a febrile seizure. But let me be clear, the vaccine isn't the cause of the seizure, the fever is. When a child has had one febrile seizure, there is a chance that it can happen again. If febrile seizures run in your family, your child might be more likely to have one. But here is the key takeaway, they do not cause brain damage, intellectual disability, nor learning disorders. That is a big myth we need to bust right now. Also, it does not mean that your child will have epilepsy, a condition where there are recurrent seizures without fever. Okay, you see a child having a seizure, what do you do? Try to stay calm. Easier said than done, right? But this is important. If the child is seated or standing, gently lay them on the floor and remove anything around them that may hurt them. Turn them onto their side with their head facing downwards to prevent choking. Watch closely. Are they jerking, stiff, rolling their eyes, losing bladder control? You will need to describe this to a doctor later. Note how long it lasts. Most febrile seizures stop within one to two minutes. Now, when the child is awake enough to swallow medicine, you can give ibuprofen or acetaminophen to lower the fever. If they are not fully alert, a rectal acetaminophen suppository is an option. A warm sponge bath can also help. Take the child to a doctor after a seizure for a thorough examination. Do not put anything in their mouths, no spoons, no fingers, nothing. It does not help and you can injure the child. Do not try to stop the seizure by holding them down. This can make things worse. Most febrile seizures are harmless, but sometimes you need to get emergency help. Call the emergency telephone number in your country or get to a doctor as soon as possible if the seizure lasts more than five minutes because they may need medication to stop it. If the child has trouble breathing or turned blue from insufficient oxygen getting into the body. If the seizure happens more than once in a 24-hour period. If only one side of the body is affected during the seizure. And if the child is younger than six months or older than five years, this is unusual and needs further testing like assessing for meningitis and inflammation around the brain and spinal cord. Here is a surprising fact. Giving fever medications will not prevent a seizure. Even if you give acetaminophen or ibuprofen before a fever spikes, it won't necessarily stop a seizure from happening. 
For kids who get febrile seizures frequently, some doctors may prescribe medication for breakthrough seizures, but this is rare. I know febrile seizures can be scary, but now you have the knowledge to handle them like a pro, right? The key is to stay calm, keep the child safe, and know when to seek medical help. Thank you very much for watching. Did you find this helpful? If so, hit that subscribe button and share with other parents. Thank you.